Hi everyone, today in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to apply for AFP here in Australia. So without any further ado, let's get started. Awesome, so let's go to the good old Google and type in AFP Australia and that will lead to the official Australian Federal Police website. Go ahead and click on National Police Checks to make your task easy. Now once that's done, we are noticing that um, they're currently exp uh, experiencing a lot of delays in processing. So if it's getting late, don't worry about it. Now the actual price of AFP is about $42. And whenever you're applying for your TR or PR, this is the one that you usually go ahead with. There's two kinds of fees. If you are looking for a fingerprint and all of that, that's going to cost you $99, otherwise $42 itself. Now there are two ways in how you can get your application done. One is online, the other one is you can download the form and fill it in manually. Another thing what you have to be really careful about is you have to include all the names that uh, you were known by and uh, if you are under 18 you need to have parental consen uh, consent as well. The most important thing for AFP is your 100 points of identification checklist. You have to have all the documents for that. Um, now what we are going to do is let's check what documents do we require for 100 points. Um, now, if you have a foreign passport, you will have the major points, 70 points out there. Then usually the documents that you can submit would be your foreign passport, would be your credit or debit card, and then your utility bills that will go up until 100 plus points. However, if you have Australian official license, you can go ahead and select your foreign passport and Australian license and that will give you about um, 100 plus points again. So now let's go and fill in the application. Just click on online national police check application. It will take you to another page and these are the instructions that you have to be really careful about before you even proceed. You need to have your credit card because you have to finish the payment. Um, now itself and then you also have to get your 100 points checklist of documents scanned and ready so that you can upload it right away okay and if you if you have any question that is irrelevant just leave it blank click on the checkbox and start new online application it's going to lead you to another page that this is the 100 points checklist. Now for the sake of this video and uh, to make things easier for you, I'm going to select foreign passport that has 70 points by itself. Um, and then we are going to scroll down a bit and we are going to select credit card or account card, which can be even debit right because if you are a visa holder you don't have any medicare and then we can go ahead and select utility bill and you will see you will have about 115 points check the box and click on next once that is done it's going to take you to another page now here is where you fill in all the details exactly as your passport fill in your family name fill in your given name if you have any other given names also just have it in there but because that is irrelevant for me i left it blank you don't have to write any na or hyphen there just leave it blank fill in your date of birth and then have in your best contact email address so that you will be receiving your final police check for this email address itself so be very careful with the email address that you are including now once that is done you will have the purpose purpose of check that is the most important aspect you will have two purposes one is working in australian capital territory the other one is commonwealth employment slash purpose so you select that for your migration purposes and now the purpose of check would be um immigration slash citizenship for supply to the department of home affairs this is the case when you are submitting this afp for your tr or pr or any immigration purposes um, you have to choose the purpose of check accordingly now if you require a hard copy just request it but otherwise pdf should be enough so i'm not checking that box off click on next but if you want it, you can go ahead and check that box and then include your mailing address as well. Go ahead with all this information given here and check the box and go ahead and click next. 
Once that is done, it is going to take you to the next page. This is where you select your files that you have uh, opted in for 100 point checklist. Click on choose file and then click on upload file. That's when this will get uploaded. Click on the checkbox. Once all the documents you selected for your 100 point checklist is done, click on next and then it's going to take you to applicant details. Now here you're going to select your country of birth, the best contact number. And if you have an Australian driver this license you can include the license number and the issuing state but if you don't have one that's fine you can go ahead and leave it blank for the sake of this video I did not include my license number in state um, that's okay and if you have been ever known by any other name such as your maiden name or anything else please declare it here yes or no that's really important for police check go ahead and click next and then it'll take you to residential addresses section if you're currently living in Australia, say yes and have a new addresses here. Now for AFP, it is important to have your 10 years of addresses history. Yes, if, if since last 10 years, if you've been living in the same address in Australia, that's fine. But if not, you have to include your overseas address as well. For example, I have, I've come to Australia in 2017. Considering if I'm doing my police check now, I will be including addresses from 2023 up until 2013 because that's 10 years. So you can accordingly remove how many ever addresses you want and you can add in how many ever you would like to. So include all your 10 years of addresses history with the start date and ending date accordingly and make sure they're they're right right you don't you shouldn't bluff here you shouldn't include incorrect days or incorrect months so go ahead and include all the details accordingly i would highly suggest you to have 10 years of address history already written on a word document so that it's easy for you to copy paste it rather than thinking because um, if you leave this for uh, 10 minutes or more the whole application will go away so then we go ahead and um, click next once you included all your 10 years of addresses history removed and added accordingly based on your addresses wherever you've left click on next and this is where you confirm all the details you check each and every detail because once you finish this application things cannot be changed so go ahead check your addresses history um, check your uh, dates um, check your date of birth check your name check if the documents you have selected has been uploaded um, check these boxes confirm this information click on next once that is done, you will be taken to payment details. Now here is where you have to pay uh, $42 and then you will have uh, surcharges according to the card type you're using. Go ahead, fill in all the details and make the payment. Now once that is done, um, you have to pay and click on um, confirm payment that is just next to cancel application. So you just have to uh, click on the confirm payment button. Once that is done, you will be receiving a reference number. You will be receiving your digital copy of AFP um, in 48 hours I believe I hope this video was quite helpful if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe